Hello, and welcome to my new Let's Play of a game called Robin Hood Legend of Sherwood. As you could probably tell from that intro, that is similar to how the game is going to do. As per usual, intros are a bit grandeur in the fact that you can't do everything that was in them, like you're not going to have people stabbing you from underneath. But it is a kind of a squad-based stealth slash action strategy game. <laughs> that was one hell of a mess of different genres matched together that I tried to compare it to. But think of something akin to Thief or Hitman, but instead, of, instead you have a top-down mode and you actually control multiple people in a real-time setting. It's actually kind of interesting. However, the reason why I'm on this screen is to show the difficulty level. And as per tradition, I am going to play it on hard. And before I explain all of the details of the game and all that stuff, I am going to start the game. However, for some reason, when you make a new profile, which I use to show the difficulty, it resets your setting, your uh, sound settings. Not your graphic settings, but your sound settings for some reason. Let's hit the play. I'm not sure if I want to read this or not because there are actually a few pages. And that would, A, that would probably be kind of annoying. B, it'd probably kill my throat by the time I was done. So I will leave it off here and just pretty much go over what it's actually telling us. Pretty much, for anybody who knows anything about Robin Hood whatsoever, you can probably guess the plot. There's the Sheriff of Nottingham and the Prince, Dude, King, Man, I forget his name because it's been so long since I've done anything Robin Hood related. Kind of awkward to say, but... That have taken over England while... King Richard is away, and Robin Hood is currently here in Lincoln to find his godfather Godwin. This is how the game plays, and I think what I'm going to do is open the map, because the map is always nice. Where should I put it? I, I remember, I usually put it up here, because there's generally not a whole lot blocking there blocking the way. As you can tell, the map is actually fairly large. Now, there are a couple, couple different things you can do, and actually, like I said, it's a stealth kind of game where you can... As you get more characters, you get a hell of a lot more options on how to subdue people. Or alternatively, just kill them. Now, He's actually not going to be out for very long. These, however, are pretty much tutorial tutorial scrolls that tell you how to do things. He's not going to be out for very long because this is on hard. More or less, I can just get past him from whacking him in the back of the head. When he, get, when he comes to, he'll be alerted. If this was on medium or easy, he'd be out for several minutes or more. And in fact, from where we were standing, we would have seen him already if it was on medium. It even reduces your sight range. But there is a bit of practice going on over there. I read this scroll. Bunch of good for nothings. I like how his comment actually came in perfectly. Maybe it was with the scroll. I don't know. Bunch of incompetent fools. I warn you, you won't get anything to eat until I see an arrow in a in the bullseye on one of those targets. Come on, start again. You can use Robin's bow. There's two arrows. And we can actually shoot those. If we do that, those guys will all go in there. I could technically shoot one of these guys. Uh, however, 
Ah, that guy saw me. Saw me out of the corner of his eye. Now he's going to be coming after me from where? I don't know, but I kind of don't want to be preoccupied when he does. I don't think they actually climb up stuff. Beggars know a lot, but each piece of information will cost Rub a little of Robin's money. So that is what money is used for. Among, I think, one or two other things, I'm not really sure. Basically, that was for it. Robin could jump over here because he is also pretty agile. Now, where is that guy who saw me? Oh, there he is. And now that that guy is looking over here, I think he sees me. No? Apparently that guy is confused to sell too. Eh, unless he's going to tell his commander, in which case, that might be an issue. No, I don't want to get down. Uh, that, did I just go into the outhouse or something? Oh, now he's gonna go wake up that guy. Huh. And he's like, oh, okay, I, I can't find him, so I suppose I'll just go back to my post. As you can tell, on hard, it'll be kind of difficult, because already I get caught. I get caught. But let's get rid of these guys. Finally, oh, what a lovely arrow. Huh? Well, don't look so flabbergasted. Try everyone to the mess. So that allowed those guys to go on home. And that gets them out of the way. That is an officer. Officers are very difficult. It's a good thing that those guys went in there. Also, they actually do formations in this game, too. If they have archers and she and swordsmen, the swordsmen will actually... Well, I'll explain that after this combat. But this is combat. You do that to swing forward, and you do a nice little infinite... I said infinity pattern. I'm too strong for you. No. Ah, yes. I'll send your widow. Do a nice little little infinity pattern in order to actually strike them down. It's a rather interesting combat thing. I believe you can do a circle to swing all around you, and that just regular slice will do exactly that. But anyway, they will actually do formations. So if I were to have shot one of them, they would have gotten into a formation where the swordsmen were covering the archers, so the archers couldn't get shot by arrows. It's a rather interesting thing, and very annoying when there's a lot of them. And let's just punch this guy out. He's resting on the street. Archers definitely get knocked out pretty well. Also, the health bar of a character is actually this little scroll up here. It was rather interesting to find. Where would I want to go? Let's go towards this way. I do hope that guy who went in there isn't actually in there. Nope, he is. Well, let's do an infinity pattern. Apparently that counted as a circle. So there's a stamina bar beneath for uh, doing stuff like that. You're not bad at defending yourself. And if you run out, well then, you become stunned for a moment, as you saw there. And now I'm gonna have to fight the other guy too. Can I? Okay, I got the difficult one too. Can I? Ow. Come on, Robin, you can do it. No? I think that guy might have glitched a little bit because he was kind of spazzing out. That wasn't a very good infinity pattern. This... Sheesh. I'm already more than half dead just from a... fighting a couple people. When, this ga when I said this game was hard, it gets pretty hard. There is some people. Oh, buh, 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 buh. 
Okay, I can sneak up on that guy and punch him. Dress, one less. He is, however, a guard. A halberd ear, so that... Yeah, get inside, Robin. They saw you and that's not good. I, did, that guy is about to see me too. Okay. It actually takes time for you to travel inside, even though... Who's turn now? Oh, poo. Well, they saw me. Oh, he's coming up. These, however, are only spearmen. Spearmen are actually pretty easy. I'll send your widow a post. As you can see there. Spearmen, fairly easy. Uh, halberdiers, a bit more challenging. Especially since they're blue. Uh, believe it or not, they actually color code the difficulty. Robin, you need to move, because they're poking you to death. Robin? I'm too you strong for you. That's on. one of the problems about fighting multiple people. Victory. Oh, oh, you Come on, Robin, you can do it. Hit him or something. I'll send you there you go. Whew. Some. Soldiers are sometimes sensitive to the lure of gold. All you have to do is select a purse and then throw it. Some soldiers, such as lancers, will go see what's going on that may even cause a brawl. That is something that is fairly important. It is a very nice addition to have. Because purses, although they use a little bit of your money, will actually distract the characters. Also, that door is grayed out because they locked on the way out. But let's give some money to the beggar. Take these few coins. Thank you. Let me tell you. What did you help me with? Uh, what did you? Oh, you put. You put a thing over there. Just double click to run. Wait there. Uh, let's get the one that was left in the field. So one of the soldiers sets a hurry for his supper, he forgets his purse. Oh, yeah, some money. Which is nice, because we spent 50 coins on getting this little thingy. Now what is it? Ah. Huh. Okay then, apparently there's a purse in there, and it had to tell us it was there. And that guy managed to see me. I think it was because I was running. No, I don't. Robin, get back down here, please. If that guy is going to come down here, I need to be ready. The only thing you can really do for health is either have a healing character in your party, which, surprise, there's no healing character at the moment, or sit for like 10 minutes. Next. Because it takes a long time for you to regain health. Oh, my now, if I was playing oh. this by myself, I would actually try and knock e knock and or kill everybody. But that's kind of difficult. Oh, this is where we started. However, this is the outside, which actually I'll go back because we don't actually need to go to the outside yet. Uh, someone heard oh, slash saw me. That's not oh. too good. There is someone in there, however, and I need to get him. That's a swordsman. Swordsman, even more dangerous than lancers. I say as he catches me. Come on, Robin. Just need to keep poking him. The best thing you can do is persistence on tough characters. Like that. I was hoping to slowly gain some health, but ah, here is somebody we can talk to. This man is none other than Edward, one of Godwin's servants. Robin knew him well as a child. He'll probably be able to tell Robin where to find Godwin. Sure, we can jump up on a table, because why not? He's grown, little Robin. Oh, master, 
Master Robin, is that you? So happy to see you. The sheriff announced that you died in the Crusades. So old Stutler was right. It was just a stratagem so that the sheriff could claim your lands. That means you are in danger, Master Robin. No, my lord, I do not know where Sir Godwin is. Disappear and the sheriff's men have taken possession of the castle to help them in their search for him, so they say. But I'm afraid they may have come to he may have come to some harm, and you're in danger from coming to harm if you do not leave this place. The sheriff is unlikely to relish the fact that you have returned. Listen, I'll inform my son, who lives in the village of the west of the castle. He will help you get away. That's all I can do. You must leave the castle enclosure by your own means. Good luck, Master Robin. There was more text in there, in there than I remembered. But that is our end goal. However, there is a guy out here. There's also the guy in the garden. I'll show you the guy in the garden in a minute. As soon as I knock this guy out. There, one less. How do I get there? Oh, it's, uh, interconnected hallways. But yeah, that guy. He is a two-handed swordsman. He is one of the toughest, char toughest characters in the game. However, can I knock him out? What I'm gonna do... I'm going to save, just in case. Because... If I can knock this guy out, the thing about two-handed swordsmen, Pot, Yoko, it, you'll see. On guard, I, well, he just shanked Robin once and then he died. As I was going to say, the thing about two-handed swordsmen is that they are actually. Uh, like in real life, they are generally nobility, and nobility generally have fat pur purses on them. However, as he is a two-handed swordsman, he is going to have a very small timer on him, so I'm effectively going to have to knock his butt out and then sprint. What I need to do is wait for his pathing to come over here, because when he's walking back, that's when I can get him. And start moving. Actually, give the knockout order on him now. Or not. Apparently, you can't actually prepare the thing when you walk out. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to approach him from the side, but I'm going to try anyway. Okay, he's actually facing in such a direction that he'll see us at the moment. Because I want that money, because these guys carry a hell of a lot of money on them, usually. At least a fair amount enough that it's worth it to try and kill them. Or at least knock them out to steal it off of their body before they wake up. And is examining the roses, walks right on back. And then when he starts moving, I'll give the order. Come on, buddy. Go Robin, go Robin, go Robin, go Robin, go Robin. Next. Okay, steal his money. 300, and just run. Because when he wakes up, he's going to be rather buggered. Yeah, let's run. Oh, I believe we can walk now because we've gotten far enough away. That was pretty good. And actually what I want to do is try and knock this guy out too. Who is but a halberdier? Um... Next. <laughs> he didn't notice me standing right next to him. However, I'm hearing somebody see me. How handsome he is. That's the last thing I want. It was probably the guy up on top of the castle. Now, I believe there might be somewhere on the walls that I can jump down from. 
Yes, I can actually jump from down from the walls over there. However, I can also actually cut the front gate down. On the flip side of that, there's a grouping of people over there. I think I want to go toward that grouping of people. I say as I'm nearly dead. But there is, a, however, a swordsman marching out, marching about over here who I have to be very, very, and that guy's awake. Son of a... Well, that guy woke up, as did that guy, so he ran around and watched stuff. I... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> that was a little bit too close. Alright, buddy. I need you to start walking the other direction, you see? Because I kind of need to punch you out again in order to progress. Maybe? There you go. Even has the drill, the drill march going on. It's kind of funny. And apparently if you can't, if you right click to remove it from your Good. cursor One less. before you do the action, it cancels the action, which is nice to know. Alright, that guy needs to go next. Can you sprint, do a little bit of sprinting to get there? So I don't, One less. don't want the guys over here to see. In fact, I'm going to save again. Uh, actually, that was so good. I can, I did that without taking any damage, so I can just save over. Now, this, I believe, is a tree to hide us. There are people over there. I'm going to show the power of the purse. As one guy starts picking it up, they're like, "Hey, I want that. I want some of the money," and they start effectively having a fist fight. <laughs> I want I want the halberdier to win. Or the sp I want the spearmen to win because the spearmen are easy to kill. Nothing. Hey, Next. I walked right up on him. He turned around and I punched him. And I took my money back, so there you go. And I saved somebody. Surely once he gets back to safety, he will probably thank me. Don't think that guy up on the tower is going to uh, look down on us. As for up here... Whoa, I think someone might have woken up. Uh, yeah, the halberdier over there woke up, okay. Now, what I'm actually going to do, looking at the time, is, once again, save it, but also leave it off here. So when we come back, the rest of Lincoln Castle with a very nearly dead Robin, I will use my bow and arrow if I need to, to kill somebody. Which is might be kind of difficult because it's hard to see people because on hard it's, on hard you don't see people till you're very very close to them and you can't actually shoot at them until they're not shadows. But that was Robin Hood Red Legend of Sherwood. Till next time, see you later.